Okay, for those of you that are looking to build a, a simple FM receiver for receiving signals from your mini FM transmitters, then this is a great circuit right here. The reason why I built this is because I have a few transmitters that I want to operate just outside the FM band. I want to go maybe a little under 88 megahertz or maybe a little over the 107.9. This way only you can hear it and no one else can hear when it's being transmitted. Now this is a pretty good circuit right here. I didn't think it was going to work too well when I looked at it online. But it does work well. It's just a, it's a simple circuit. It uses one MPF-102. I made a couple of modifications here. Primarily this capacitor right here between the source and the drain on the MPF-102. It was a 5 PF. I wasn't getting good sound quality until I replaced that with a trimmer. So use a 0 to 10 PF trimmer here. All right, to make L2, all right, that has 26 turns of either 28 or 30 gauge uh, enamel copper wire, and you're going to wrap them side by side very tight on an 8 millimeter diameter form. Now I used a pencil. I just cut it to the right length. I slid out the graphite that was in there. I put one layer of electric tape and then I wrap the enamel wire over everything. And you can see that right here. That's it. I put some E6000 over it so it doesn't come apart. It's all contained. So this is the actual circuit right here. All right, this is it, the jack for the audio. L1 now is seven turns of 22 gauge air spaced as you can see right there. All right. And that's wrapped around a 5 16 inch bolt. You just let it wrap around the threads and then when you're, un when you're finished wrapping it around the threads just unscrew the bolt out of the coil you just wound and then you're ready to go. Now you'll notice over here this antenna is attached to the third turn of the coil. And it's the third turn coming from the .001 UF capacitor over here. All right, so that's you want to make sure that the, the um, make sure the tap is on this end, not on that end. Now, pretty much everything in the circuit stayed the same. I had a tuning capacitor laying around. Just go find a cheap radio that has a dial control on it. Maybe go to a dollar store, Dollar Tree, or 99 cent only stores, and look for a cheap radio, and you can get it out of that. This was a buck. And you want to make sure the middle wire that comes out, there's one, two, three on this end, and there's three on that side. The center is the ground. And you're going to use either this side or that side. So you're going to use these two wires, or you're going to use these two on this side. So make sure the middle is the ground. When you do the schematic here, see the plus is up? Make sure the ground is down. So the center, con center conductor on each side, you can use either side. So just take the center and make sure it goes to the ground. The antenna wire is just about 6 inch uh, 22 gauge wire. And that's soldered to the tap on the coil. Now once you set this capacitor, the trimmer, that I re which is this one right here that I replaced, once you set that, you don't want to touch it ever again. So I put tape over it and I just sealed the hole up so I don't touch it. This one here is the 1K and that adjusts the gain also. Once you set that where you like it, don't touch it. So I sealed that one off. This one here is the 10K and that one is what determines the volume. So you just want to play around with the volume and this adjusts the frequency. This is really, really sensitive, this uh, radio. And you could tune from like 88.9 to 88.8, uh, 88.7. 88, I mean, it'll, it'll tune it in, but you just got to be really slow when you tune it. It has good sensitivity and good range. You can hold it to a degree. If you put this in a plastic housing, I guess it would be all right. But you pretty much want to turn it on, 
plug in your headphones and just let it sit there and it'll be it's pretty clear you'll have a little bit of a hiss in the background but that's common with these type of radios keep all right you also want to make sure you keep all your leads as short as possible and the only thing I did different on this one besides the trimmer over there was I added here's the audio coming out this goes to the audio out goes to left and right on the earphones and then to the ground this way I get sound in both ears it works really well and like I said if you have a transmitter that you want to hear and you don't want anybody else to hear it this is the circuit you want to build I'll put the link in the description box and you can find out more information that way.